Hey, and welcome to today's video. Today I have a time lapse video of my most recent painting, and this is actually technically my first official completed artwork slash painting of 2017. So I ran a poll on my Twitter which I will have all of my social media linked below in case you don't follow me there. But I ran a poll on my Twitter to see what kind of video you guys would like to see next. And it was very, very close. Uh, it was actually between this watercolor mermaid and Anna from Overwatch, like a little fan art of her, and the rainbow mermaid one. So, well, it wasn't really a rainbow mermaid, it was a watercolor mermaid, but the mermaid won, and it was very extremely close. It was actually by 1% she won, so I might do um, the Anna fan art next since it was, you know, such a close battle between the two but like i was saying if you don't follow me on twitter i do polls every now and then to see what kind of videos you guys would like to see me upload next and um before this i actually ran a poll asking about what kind of art challenge video you guys would like to see next and you guys voted on the cheap art supplies challenge and i actually haven't been able to go out and get any cheap art supplies yet so i think i might get some cheap crayons maybe some cheap coloring pencils some cheap watercolors if you would like to see me test out like a certain cheap art supply you can let me know in the comments because that would really help me out and it would hmm, really help me figure out what i guess i could draw for the cheap art supply challenge based on the supply you guys would like for me to use so yeah um so this painting i actually am trying some new watercolor paper and i got this for christmas this is the arches watercolor block it's the uh cold for us it's got all the nice textures and stuff and i actually really really love this paper it is amazing i do have one complaint though um since it sorry <coughs> my voice um since it is <coughs> made out of 100 percent cotton there are like fibers or like these hairs in the paper and you might be able to see it sometimes throughout the video but it can get a little annoying because sometimes i'll think oh shoot my brush is shedding but i've never had any problems with these brushes shedding so if you're looking for good watercolor brushes i would really recommend these they're by jack richardson but anyway um this paper has like these little fibers little looks like little hairs in the paper and it's kind of annoying just because, you know, sometimes they're stuck in the paper, sometimes they're laying on top, and you can just actually just rub them off or kind of pick them off. But that's the only complaint I have about this paper. <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with my voice. It keeps going in and out. <laughs> um, and it's also extremely thick. Like, it's almost like a sheet of cardboard. It's so thick, and it does handle a lot of water which I really, really love because I do use a lot of water when it comes to doing the backgrounds. Uh, well, it just actually depends on the type of painting I'm doing, but this one I did lay down a, a layer of water and then I went in with some blue paint because she's a mermaid and she's underwater. So I did that to get a nice even... Uh, shade of blue across the background i guess that's as best as i could explain it uh, but yeah it worked out really nicely and because this is a watercolor block the paper doesn't actually warp or distort in any way unlike your traditional watercolor paper that may be just in separate sheets or that may be in a like 
a watercolor pad where it's attached on like one end and I know that you can tape your watercolor paper down on a table or a hard surface but even then sometimes I find that the paper still does warp and it still does distort in some ways but I actually do miss uh, taping my paintings down because I love having the little white border around the edges so <clears throat> Yeah, this paper is really, really great. I really recommend it if you're looking for some paper. Now, it is not a cheap paper. Uh, so, thankfully, I got this as a Christmas gift because I have been wanting to try this paper out for a very long time. I just haven't had the money to buy it. So, this comes with 10 sheets of this watercolor paper, and it was about $25. So, it was about two dollars and fifty cents a sheet of paper so that's kind of expensive in my opinion because typically the paper I use is the Strathmore watercolor paper it's in the 300 series and I bought a pack of 24 sheets for about ten dollars so there is quite a bit of difference in the prices but this is high quality professional uh, artist grade watercolor paper and it's really amazing so yeah if you're looking for some nice high quality watercolor paper I do recommend this and I also do recommend the Strathmore paper as well that's really great paper but you know when you use the Strathmore paper you do kind of have a little bit of leeway no room I mean you have room for mistakes because it is so cheap but with this paper I really had to sit down and think about what I wanted to paint because I didn't want to just start painting on the paper and then it, you know, turn out horrible and I not end up liking it and then I would just feel like I ruined a sheet of this really expensive paper, if that makes sense. So you just have to really plan out ahead and, you know, kind of figure out what you're wanting to paint before you paint it, pretty much. So, yeah, like you guys voted on Twitter for the Watercolor Mermaid, and I was talking to a lovely friend, her name is Nikki, uh, and I was talking to her about color schemes for mermaids, and she actually had sent me a picture of a mermaid she had drawn, and it, she based it off of um, an actual fish, like the color schemes. So she drew kind of like a koi fish mermaid and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous it was so cute and I just loved it so I myself was looking at different kinds of tropical fish and I couldn't really find any that I really loved because most of the time they sort of have the same color schemes it's usually like uh, yellow blue and orange that kind of thing but I decided to just do something of my own and that's why I did the whole rainbow thing. So I started at the end of the tail with the reddish pink tone, then I went to orange, then yellow, then green, then to blue green, and then blue, and then the hair is purple. So it's all kind of like a long rainbow and I really liked it and I had debated on doing the scales or not because I was afraid that if I did the scales then it would have maybe been too busy and it wouldn't look right but I think that actually turned out pretty okay I had originally planned on doing a few scales here and there but I think if I did that then it would have turned out too plain and then it wouldn't really I don't know feel complete in my opinion so here you can see that I am uh, doing the background I first started out with just a little bit of blue and water over there, but you can see here I was laying on the water. Um, and then I started adding a little bit of the blue paints. Oh, and I didn't even mention the paints I was using. Um, I'm using the Sakura Koi Watercolor Travel Set. And these are great paints as well. They're kind of inexpensive, so they're not really top quality watercolors, but they're not super cheap either. So I can't remember how much this pan was exactly maybe 15 something like that I don't know it wasn't very expensive and they're pretty great especially if you are traveling I remember going on vacation last summer and I took these and I painted in the car ride to and from uh, 
our vacation spot. Uh, so, yeah, if you're looking for some good watercolors, I suggest those. But I am looking to maybe get an upgrade in the future. Maybe some artist grade quality watercolors. And if you have any suggestions on what kind to get, please let me know. I do have some Winsor & Newton common watercolors, and I know those aren't artist grade. And those are pretty good, and I also have some Van Gogh watercolors, but I don't know. The pigmentation is pretty good, but I still want to try something else. I would like to actually <sighs> maybe get some pans, because the Cotman and the Van Gogh are both in tubes. And that can be really great, especially if you're going to make your own palettes. But I just kind of want a pre-made... Um, palette or maybe a palette that I can put some half pans in so and then at the bottom of this you can see I'm adding some seaweed and I had originally planned on not doing anything like this but it looked so plain I had to do something so that's why you're seeing me um, I guess adding the seaweeds and all that stuffs. Um, also, another thing is I reopened my store, so if you're interested in any originals, because I think from now on I'm only going to have my originals in my store, and then I want to try to find an alternate way of maybe getting prints if you guys would be interested in anything um, as a print or anything like that. I have looked into Redbubble, but they don't allow fan art, so anything that I post that's fan art, usually it will get taken down because I did have my Symmetra piece up in Redbubble, and I did get a test shirt and a test print and some stickers from a couple of our, couple other artists, and the shirt and the print was amazing quality. However, I don't recommend Redbubble stickers because the they're die cut so they're kind of they are cut along the shape of the the sticker or the artwork itself and the die cut that Redbubble had done was just absolutely terrible and it looked nothing yes yeah, so it looked nothing like what the original artists had shown on their store so if I do upload on Redbubble or Society6 I am probably not going to choose stickers as an option I don't know how Society6 is, but as for Redbubble, I will not be choosing stickers because the stickers are kind of bad. Um, so, sorry to anyone that likes Redbubble stickers, I just personally don't. Anyway, so yeah, if you would like to purchase any original, I do have my store reopened. The link will be down in the description box below. I do have some stuff from last year, like my Vulgen painting, Sylvanas, my original Deluge, and I also have like one painting from 2015. So, um, I did lower some prices of some things just because at that time I was so attached to those paintings, but now I kind of, I'm not as attached to them as I used to be, so I did lower some prices of painting, so if you're interested, I do have some stuff in there that's um, as cheap as $20, and then some stuff, well, just one painting because it's my favorite painting I've ever done, and I, I don't know, I don't know, I feel like I can never do something that good again. <laughs> it's my Vulgen painting, and it is my favorite painting I've ever done, and that one's $60, so that's the most expensive thing in there. But I do have some affordable stuff in there, I said, for like $20. So if you're interested in any of that, my store link is in the description box. And you should definitely check it out. And if you do have any suggestions on any websites that I could use for printing or anything like that, let me know in the comments. Um, because I would really greatly appreciate that. And it would just really help me a lot. And as you can see, here I am using a Uniball Signal White Gel Pen to add some highlights and just to, I don't know, it kind of pulls everything together, and I really love that pen. It's one of the best pens that I've ever used. It's a gel pen. And then I went in here and added just a little bit of darker tones to the skin because I felt like they needed some more shading. <sighs> so yeah, thank you guys so incredibly much for watching today's video, and if you haven't already, 
and you would like to be, then you can join this awesome art family and we can bond over art and all that sorts of stuff. Talk about our favorite art supplies, talk about our favorite artists, our favorite art we've ever done, that kind of thing. And until next time, I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll see you then. Bye!